now. Your first alert five weather. Is it ever nice out there right now? 79 degrees, not a whole lot of wind, just a light breeze out of the south at nine miles per hour. Pueblo, you've got partly cloudy skies. It's comfortable, 84 degrees. You're upsloping out of the east right now at eight miles per hour. Here's what's going to happen around here tomorrow. Just like today, thunderstorms will be a scarce commodity along and east of I-25. I think the best chance will be across some of the higher elevations. I think the San Juans, the Lagarita is probably the prime target for getting those thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Then by Sunday, a much better chance of landing some rain here. Here's what's going to happen. We'll have that moist upslope flow at the surface. One of the necessary ingredients to pop those thunderstorms and a pretty healthy disturbance will be pushing across the area. Some good energy around. So factor in those elements. We have thunderstorms in the forecast for parts of the News 5 viewing area. I think the prime target is going to be Canyon City, eastern Fremont County into the Pikes Peak region. We were basically haze free around here today for the first time in the past week. Looks like some of that haze is going to come back in many form during the afternoon hours tomorrow. Certainly not as bad as what we experienced last weekend. All right, going on right now is just plain old quiet out there all along I-25, not a drop of water falling. You've got to head all the way into the San Luis Valley to get some thunderstorm activity right around Monte Vista. Some thunder, lightning and rainfall going on right now. That stuff pushing off to the south at about 10 miles per hour. For a change, we were unseasonably cool today. Hope you had a chance to enjoy it. Only 86 in Pueblo. Average high is 91 degrees. Degrees. Colorado Springs 84 today and that is right on the money exactly where we should be this time of the year outside right now updated temperatures. It is pleasant from I 25 all the way out to the Kansas border. You know folks in Lamar this time of year love an afternoon temperature of only 83 degrees crisp and cool across some of those high mountain valleys tonight in uh, West Cliff. Close the windows, grab a blanket, 44 the overnight low temperature. Also good sleeping weather here across I-25, 56 in the Springs, Pueblo, and overnight low temperature of 58 degrees. Around here tomorrow, it's going to start heating up once again. Again, dry skies for much of the I-25 corridor all the way out to the Kansas border, but we reintroduce those thunderstorms around here on Sunday. 85, that's a pretty tolerable temperature this time of the year. Some of those thunderstorms on Sunday will have beneficial rain for parts of the Pikes Peak region. We'll scale it back to just an isolated thunderstorm Monday afternoon. I think we'll squeeze in a dry day on Tuesday. Then I'm tracking a pattern change. Monsoon is going to be more of an active player around here starting Wednesday, continuing Thursday into Friday. We'll team up that subtropical moisture with an upslope flow following a cold front for Thursday and Friday. It's really going to be nice and cool again. Thursday and Friday highs only into the upper 70s. Pueblo for your weekend. Hot fun in the summertime with the emphasis on hot Low 90s both Saturday and Sunday. Same neighborhood on Monday. Heats up even more Tuesday into Wednesday. Then as that monsoon starts to kick in by Thursday and Friday, you're going to see a better chance of afternoon thunderstorms and cooling nicely once again, only into the 80s. There's something to look forward to right there. Canyon City, you're hot and you're dry tomorrow. Afternoon thunderstorms on Sunday. Just an isolated storm possible on Monday. Then you'll see a resurgence of moist, unstable air by the middle part of next week. Isolated thunderstorms Wednesday, then pretty much a slam dunk. You're going to get some rain by Thursday and Friday. And for Woodland Park, August is thunderstorm season, and I've got them in your forecast. We'll get beneficial rain next week. Got to get it while the getting's good because that pattern usually starts to dry out in early September. Time for traffic here on News 5. There is a big crash. You need to know about this on Highway 20.